So as you can see, the architect designed the space with the open concept in mind, which is great. We love that. Yeah. We do have a door to the bedroom, but we have this half wall here, so everything is completely open, um, including the bathroom. So we have an ensuite bathroom, and we were fine with no door at first, but I think now we'd like a little extra privacy. I can understand that. You really want to separate the, the bedroom from the bathroom. Yeah. Right. But uh, what do you have in mind for a door? We were thinking maybe a sliding barn door would look really cool in the space. Oh, that'd be a good look. You have a great usable wall right here for it. And the kits they have now, nice large doors with uh, the black iron hardware on it. Okay. It'll really go along with that industrial look that you have. Yeah. So let me pull some measurements and get some, get, I'll go get the kit and we'll get started. That sounds great. All right. So here's the door, Stephanie. What do you think? I think it looks great. You like it? This, yeah, I do. This is actually an alder wood, which is kind of a relative of a birch. Okay. It's nice. It's got a lot of character to it. Uh, you can see this is the hardware here that we're going to use. These are the rollers, and they're already pre-drilled up top. So we'll mount that. We've got a nice big handle that will mount about 32 inches up off the floor. Okay. And as you can see, it comes unfinished. It actually has a lot of knots and some character to it. We could clear coat that and kind of highlight it, or we could stain it a little darker and hide those. What do you think you'd want to do? I like the idea of going a little bit darker. A little darker? Yeah, I think that would blend in well. I like that too. In this kit, they supplied us with a piece of 1x4 stock, and this is actually the mounting board that we're going to apply across the top. It's going to do two things for us. First is we're going to be able to screw anywhere. We're going to get right into our studs, get right into structure. Second is it's going to, it's going to give us a build out so we can avoid any base or trim around your opening. And one thing I noticed though is when I put the level on your wall, at about six feet, you're out just under three quarters of an inch. Oh my goodness, so you you're can, right. You can imagine if we hang that door, it's gonna to wanna to naturally fall plumb on the track and then it's gonna hit onto your base or onto your casing. So to compensate, I'm gonna pad that out another three quarters of an inch and that'll give us the ability to clear all the problems. Okay. All right. So I like to apply my stain with a rag and that works really well for the flat surface areas. And then if you have some real heavy areas, we'll come back with a fresh rag and strike those off. Do you think we just need one coat or more than one? I think we'll just start with one. This is a pretty dark stain. I think this uh, alder will really take it well. The nice part about this water base is there's quick drying time and not much odor. Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't smell at all. I was I'm kind of surprised by that. And for the really tight spots, we can use a cotton swab. Okay. Bring it up to your line. I've already located the studs and pre-drilled those locations through our mounting board, which makes setting the screws go quicker. I'm going to set the first screw, and then I'm going to put the level back on. I'm going to put the level across it, and we'll just double check to make sure that we're running level. Perfect right there. All right, here is the steel track that the door is going to roll on. And to gain a little space between that and our board, we're going to use these wall spacers. They're going to go right below these pre-drilled holes, and then we're going to sandwich it all together. Okay. This mounting board attaches to our build-out with screws. I've left this board long and mitered the ends so we can add a mitered return piece on the corners for a finished look. I want to pre-drill before I set the trim nails so I don't split the wood. Then we tighten up these lag screws with a socket wrench. I want to set them all loosely to start. All right, we'll work our way down. And then we can cinch them up at the end. Alright, so these are the stops. There's a left and a right, and these are pretty important because these are going to keep the door from rolling off the end. But also, you can adjust them, so if you wanted the door to stop a little bit further back or a little bit past, you can fine tune it. Alright, the stain's dry. Let's go ahead and attach the hardware.
All right, nice and tight? Yeah, it looks good. All right, let's go hang it up. All right, I'm gonna set my end down and you roll yours up to me. Perfect. All right, we'll position it. All right, we're gonna bring it in and hook the rollers right on that track. All right, perfect. There it is, it's rolling. Yeah, it looks great. Nice. And the last step is to add this floor guide. I'm gonna set it right at the edge of the door so when it closes, either way, it's still covered. I'll put it down, trace one side. I take the door off, secure it, and then put the door back on. The floor guide is installed, and I also added these anti-jump blocks up top. And what that does is it fills the space between the track and the door so the rollers can't jump off of the track. If you ever need to, you can flip those out, take the door off. Awesome. I'll give it a try, see what you think. Okay. Oh, it's perfect. Nice. It's perfect, and it blends in so well with the room. Gives us some extra privacy. It's great. I'm glad you like it. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming to Alabama. Thanks for having me. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.